Hi everyone, hello JR Ventures. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mr. J, the JR Venture Vlog. Kung bago ka pa lang sa akin channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para ma-notify ka sa aking mga bagong video. Okay? Ngayong araw ay pag-uusapan natin o ipapakita ko sa inyo ang paggamit ng screen casomatic. Ngayon guys, paano nga ba natin gamitin ng screen casomatic? Lalo na ngayon ay virtual na ang ang mga pagtuturo. Kaya isa ito sa pwede ninyong gamitin sa pagtuturo sa Pilipinas. Okay? O dito rin sa US mismo. Paano nga ba gamitin ang screen casomatic? Ngayon guys, ang gagawin mo lang is, of course, kumuha ka lang ng laptop mo or desktop. Then, just type screen casomatic right after that. Click mo lang yan. Pag naklik mo na, merong huling may kita, click mo lang. Then, i-download mo lang. Kapag na-click mo yan, may lalabas na dalawang option. Start recording for free or try our video editor. Okay, ang pinili ko lang guys is start recording for free. Okay, pag na-click mo yan, may lalabas ulit, dalawang option. So, launch free recorder and upgrade. So, ang ikiklik lang natin ay launch free recorder. Okay. So, pag na-click mo na yun, guys, ayan, ayan, ibig sabihin, na-launch na yung recorder na to. Okay? Nakakasunod ba? Ngayon, up, ang gagawin mo, uh, may tatlong option yan, ang screen, webcam, or pagsasabayin mo ng gamit, ang screen at webcam. Kung gusto mong nagsasalita at makikita abang na sa gilid, so ang pipiliin mo ay yung webcam and screen. Magkasama sila mismo. Okay, after nyan, kapag naklik mo na, may button dito na for record. Pwede ka nang mag-start mag-record. Okay, mag-record. Okay, na nakakasunod ba? Ayan. Yan ang kikin na ganda ng screencast o matic. Pwede mong gamitin uh, both screen and your webcam. Okay? Like for example, you're going to present a video about matter. So you have to go to um, YouTube or Google. Okay? Now let us uh, proceed to uh, YouTube. Then you have to type matter. song about matter okay right after that just click on the song and you have to present this video to your class ayan Siyempre, pwede mong i-full screen yan. It's up to you guys. Okay? Ayan, nakakasunod ba? Pakinggan muna natin. Headmans. Ayan guys, kung gusto mo uh, uh, na ipapakita yung mga lesson mo or yung video mo habang nasa gilid ka, nagsasalita, yan. Parang yung mga ginagawa ngayon sa, sa school or sa, sa mismong trabaho natin ngayon, more on virtual na lang. So habang na tulad mga webinar, nasa gilid lang sila, ganun dito ang screencast mo natin. Kaya ng Zoom or uh, uh, virtual online or online Okay. So, ayan guys. Example lang yan ha. Ngayon, kung magpapresent ka ng lesson, like for example, pupunta tayo nyo ng uh, Google, hanap tayo ng sample PowerPoint. Okay. Uh, PowerPoint on 
PowerPoint on adverb. Okay. Now, meron tayo rito ang PowerPoint. Then, nag-save na siya, na-download. Open mo yan. Kung gusto mo lang i-present sa mga estudyante mo, napaka-dali lang. Ayan, battery low. Nasa na yung PowerPoint natin? Ayan, ready na ba ang PowerPoint natin? Okay. Ngayon, kung gusto mong mangyari ay nasa gilid ka, nagsasalita, habang pinipresent mo yung uh, presentation mo, pwede pwede. Okay? Now, where did it happen? Who can answer these questions? How did it happen? To what extent did it happen? Adverb can, yes, an adverb will tell us where, how, when, to what extent. An adverb can describe three parts of speech. These are verb, adjective, and adverb. Adverbs can come before or after the word described. Example, I carefully look everywhere. What is the verb? Look. Very good. How did you look? Carefully. That is the adverb for number one. So it comes before the verb. Okay? Where did you look? Everywhere. That is the adverb number two. As you observe, it comes after the verb. Where is that adverb? Now let us proceed to the next one. An adverb can also split a verb phrase in half. Okay? Could not wait. What is the verb phrase? Could wait. What is the adverb? Not splitting the verb phrase in one half or half. Example, many students could not wait for school on Monday. Okay? So if you want to make bigger, you have to proceed to this one slideshow. Just click just click the slideshow from beginning. Okay, then as you present your lesson. Mas mabilis. Okay, the adverb can. All right, so. An adverb modifies a verb, an adjective, and another adverb. It tells you where. <laughs> an adverb modifies a verb, an adjective, and another adverb. Let's practice. Adverbs describing verbs. Directions. First, tell the verb or the verb phrase in the sentence. Then, tell the adverb describing it. Number one. You can intently play video games for hours. What is the adverb phrase? Can play. Very good. Number two. What is the adverb? Intently. <laughs> Bisaya. The moon shines brightly in dark sky. So what is the verb there? Shine. Very good. And the adverb, what is the adverb? Brightly. Alright. So, ayun guys, napakabilis lang. So sa paggamit ng screencast-o-matic, ganito lang. You have to go to Google, then type screencast-o-matic. Right after that, may lalabas dyan, then... Uh, click mo lang yon, then launch yeah. screencast-o-matic. Right after ma-launch, pwede ka nang mag-proceed, mag-record ng iyong sarili while presenting the lesson or presentation. Naiintindihan po ba? So, ayan. Uh, I hope na may natutunan kayo sa araw na ito. Sa video ng ito, sa pag-present or sa paggamit ng screencast-o-matic once again. Kung bago ka pa lang sa aking channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para ma-notify ka sa mga bagong video na i-upload ni Mr. J. Once again, thank you so much for watching. This is Mr. J, the J Adventure Vlog. Bye! Thank you for watching. This is Mr. J, the J Adventure Vlog.